Right now, it is time for another curtain call featuring the best of the Kansas City stage. Our theater insider, Tim Scott, is back to take us through some of the new shoes shows. Welcome back. Sassafras. Yeah, Listen, isn't Gina, she? Yeah. I've got an issue I wanted to talk to you about. What so, is like it? these, I've got an undershirt problem. What so, is I ordered large, yeah. and then I washed it, and it turned out to be like a midriff, Ooh. like a Daisy Duke. Okay. So, I ordered extra large, and now I've got like a nightgown on my hand Yikes. here. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, I can't walk around town like How this. How do you walk? Oh, my goodness. Are you sure that's just an XL? That's I what I bought. Triple XL. I to, I, it's Hanes. I got to switch over to Fruit of the Maybe Loom. I'd go with the belly shirt next time. <laughs> no, man. I've messed up my whole <laughs> image. My whole rep in town. Well, okay. Let's talk about these shows. You can wear a belly shirt or a long sure. t-shirt. Well, They're either on one. How you feel. Okay. She loves me. She loves me. She loves me would definitely wear a midriff. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> Bach and Harnick. That's a classic musical going on at the MTH Theater Crown Center right now. It's a great show. Most people know the story. It's based on the same play uh, that brought us You've Got Mail with Tom yeah. Hanks and Meg Ryan. Okay. Uh, the Shop Around the Corner with Jimmy Stewart. So everyone knows that play. Uh, these pen pals fall in love with each other, but they actually know each other in real life and hate each other. Ah. So they don't realize, you know, it's the same story everyone knows. It's got a great <laughs> score uh, by Bach and Harnick. It's going on down there at MTH, a wonderful, wonderful theater. And I'll tell you, I mean, if you're looking for, for something just to feel good and yeah. you know, not, to, not think too much about, have a great time and laugh, she loves me at MTH is what I do, playing till April 9th. Okay, so plenty of time to go check that one. Well, yeah. Not really. Oh, two of weeks. Time. Couple this weeks. Okay. And next weekend. So get on it. What yeah. about Beautiful? Beautiful, right. That's the Carol King musical going on down at the music hall. I saw it last night. Of course, it's still running on Broadway. Yep. Uh, it was a big Broadway hit when it came out a few years ago. Right. Jesse Mueller won the Tony Award. Uh, of course, it, it celebrates the Carol King songbook, Tough to Go Wrong, right. the whole tapestry album, and everything she wrote before that. It follows her career uh, when she was married to Jerry Goffin, uh, who was also her lyricist for a while. Kind of a bio musical that follows them through their, their breakup and their divorce and when she was able to find her own voice. And so she wrote her own lyrics later on in life. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's not a great script. And those okay. bio musicals kind yeah. of, they, they have trouble finding their legs with sure. great scripts. But the music is so incredible. Right, if you uh, love Carol King. Oh my God, you the performances go. are so incredible. I mean, from the stuff that she didn't record, like Locomotion, like yep. I didn't even know she wrote that yeah, song. Yeah, love that. Um, to the stuff that she did record, like right there, she's doing, you know, Natural Woman and, and everything off the Tapestry album. It's packed last night at the music hall. Um, it runs, I believe, until Sunday as well. Okay. Um, great, great show. I mean, I mean, the baby boomers were. It was like crack cocaine to them. They were just, like <laughs> eating it up. Um, I was like, with a friend. He's like, man, the people who you know were living during that time are living Loving tonight. This. Yeah. <laughs> they got applause. Aww. Like the Righteous Brothers came out and sang a song, and they got applause. And I leaned over. I'm like, it's not really that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, because everyone thought, whatever, it was fun, it was a good show. What about Raisin in the Sun? Right, Raisin in the Sun, totally different. That's going on at the Kansas City Repertory Theater in previews now, opens tomorrow, no, Friday night, opens Friday night. Okay. Of course, the Lorraine Hansberry classic written in 1959, um, co-directed by Chip Miller and Marissa Wolf down there. This is a great, gr one of the greatest plays ever written at the KC Rep going on. Uh, it follows the younger family who recently come came into a little bit of money since the, the father passed away, and they are going to be moving into a, a nicer neighborhood, a mostly affluent white neighborhood and kind of the trials and tribulations that they go through it deals a lot with you know uh, your place in this world and privilege and there's a lot of race issues of mm -hmm. course um, Chip Miller the co-director of the show says it's, it's really a play very much of this moment even though it was written gosh 60 some right. odd years ago that it's still very topical very very relevant today and the, the rep did it about 10 years ago and I saw that production yeah it was a fascinating fantastic production so I'm, I'm so excited I see it uh, I see it Friday night so I mean, what can you say you got a classic Lorraine Hansberry's Raisin in the Sun uh, and then beautiful you know celebrating the music of one of the greatest songwriters in American history Carol King and then she loves me uh, an American classic by the guys who wrote Fiddler on the Roof at the MTH theater three great options Tim thanks so much good luck with your undershirt Midriff's allowed all three places <laughs>